Yo ho ho! All right, yes, I've got to figure it out by now. That's my second time in a row I've, I've been muted. Oh, I know, I know, it's the usual, folk. It be the usual. <clears throat> All right, yes, the shave is here. I did cut myself really bad. It was not good. It was not good. I'm just going to hop into some gameplay here, folks. Let's get going. Let's see if we can uh, beautify some destructive action here. I want to start you guys off with a... I want to start you guys off with one of my weirdest, but simultaneously going to be best strategies. So, this is my plan. Um, <clears throat> man, I need a freaking haircut bad. Look at this. Look at this garbage. I hate it, dude. Look at that. Oh, it's terrible. <clears throat> All right, folks, so what we're going to do is I'm going to do Red Balloon Start. I'm going to, you know what? Oh, crap. We're not going to do the Boomer Start today. I'm going to go for the Dartling Gun Start, which is more dangerous. But I did a Boomer Start earlier, and no joke, it freaking killed me. It freaking killed me. All right? Like, no joke. Destroyed me. Um, It's good to have no lives lost, but I'm not sure if that's something I'm going to go for. Like, I, I'd rather not sacrifice anything for it. Uh, I'm usually better off going with the Gwendolyn Strat anyways. So, let's see if we can make this all happen here, guys. Oh, yeah. No Lives Lost is gone. All right. I usually like to do the Boomer Strat, but again, when this thing killed me earlier today, I was really, really upset about that. So, I said, screw it. We're going to try a different strategy that is not a tag shooter strategy. I think there are other strats in the game that will work. I currently do think that tag shooters are still overpowered and are too good in this game. But it doesn't mean it's the only strategy that's allowed in this game. Um, we can still pull off some other crap. I believe my next update tack will be pretty much done. Well, I'm glad I haven't died around three blues yet. I think that that might be the the worst I've I've heard of so far. I have died to yellows. I've died to pinks. Uh, I don't know if I've died to a black or a white rush though, which is kind of funky. I've died to purples a lot. Purples and camo purples. Those things are hard, man. This is real hard. All right. So I'm going to straighten up a powerful dart dartling gun here. Um, what's weird about the Powerful Darts Dartling Gun strategy is that it actually is okay until you get to about yellows, and then once you get to yellows, it gets really, really weird. Um, and at this point, it's kind of weird, because, like, you also probably want to try to go for, like, a high-level boomerang or something like that, like a third-tier boomer, but it just doesn't seem to work. So, instead, I'm gonna go for a double Dartling Gun strategy, possibly sell my Dartling Gun! Could I get a super-powered dartling gun and hope that my super-powered dartling gun is going to be the answer to everything? Uh, I've actually really been... I've been enjoying dartling guns. I don't think they're the best tower in the game, but I think... Here's the key, guys. I'm planning. All right, I'm planning ahead. Oh, here we go. we got to get this going. Let's do green balloons. And... You know what? We will put them here. We're going to put them right here. We're going to lock him in place, set the target down here. I'm going to go for that powerful dart still. Boom, boom, powerful darts. Let's hope if we can keep this close to no lives lost here. Looking good, looking good. All right, so we're cl still cleaning up. It's a little bit of a tight battle here. We still have to build a lot of defenses. But I was thinking about long-term um, strategies. Because right now, I will say that I think Taxter is by far the best tower in the game. But I think they're going to nerf him. So I think that's going to be something we're going to have to be ready for. So I don't want to level all of my taxers up to 5th tier. And then once they update it, it's just like, oh crap, now I have nothing to, to play with. Nothing to build. Nothing to survive with. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to get some other towers that I think that aren't going to get too many nerfs. And I think boomerangs are one of those towers, guys. I think boomerangs are pretty OP right now. Uh, so I want to level up my boomerangs a little bit. Um, I also want to get uh, my dartling guns up because I think they're going to be the best bad pop balloon popping power in the game. I've defended multiple bads with a mad before. Uh, and then I think I combine that with a super monkey army, and I think we might be literally... Oh, here we go. He's gonna balloon boost me. Um... It's not that dangerous yet, but I gotta be wary, because long term, this might be pretty bad. So we're gonna at least go for a quick 2-2 boomerang here, just to kind of keep me in play. But I'm gonna put this guy on last, which is kind of sad. You don't love it, but it is what it is. And I'm gonna start saving up my money just a little bit. I'm just gonna keep on saving out reds. Just low, key, dirty, dark, terrible reds. That's it. Now, one thing we're noticing about this guy, he's got no hero. There we go. We see a Striker Jones popping down around eight. That's really weird. 
Don't understand it, but okay. It is. Ooh, he's got a spike factory too. That's an interesting play, guys. It's a very interesting play. All right, so we're about to make some real plays here, guys. Real dirty plays. First things first, we're going to get a faster uh, barrel spin. Then we're going to get rid of this guy. We don't need him anymore. And we're going to go for the Hydra Rocket Pods. All right, now this is going to be the majority of my popping power. All right, now we noticed that this guy's got a pretty decent defense. But now at this point, I think I have enough defense to actually make this play, right? So we're going to go for... Uh, we got powerful darts already, so that makes me feel pretty good. Uh, I gotta watch for these natural balloons, because they're obviously kind of dangerous. Oh, here we go. We got a purple, purple rush coming out against us. Hydra Rocket Pods is gonna clean that puppy. Oh, and we're gonna switch into some yellows. We're gonna switch into some pinks. And we're gonna switch into some whites, because you never know if these whites are gonna be danger enough, dangerous enough. To oh, no. He's got tax down. Excuse me. Overdrive. <coughs> all right, he's gonna camo purple me. Not sure I uh, understand that, but all right. Hydra Rocket Pods, bro. Hydra I think one nice thing about Dartling is people aren't used to it. So when they see it, they're like, well, what can I rush this guy with? Oh, let's rush with the thing that normally kills a lot of people. And then it just doesn't work. So it's like, ah, I feel so juicy and godlike with the Hydra Rocket Pods. I defend everything! But I've got to be careful, because I do think this is going to go late game. And I don't want to over, uh, uh, over eco and under defend. Because I will say that the weakest part of this entire strategy is probably right around 14 to 16. Hydra Rocket Pods versus Ceramics. Not all that good. Not all that good. So what I'm going to do is, at the very least, I'm going to get a Glade Ricochet. Um, it'll help me out just a smidge. Just a smidge. Just in case something, some poop hits the fan or whatnot. Then I'm going to go for... Uh, yeah, You know what? Camo Bloons could be dangerous, but I really have to send out a crap ton. I guess we could try something wonky. Crap ton of Camo Greens. Let's see if we can overwhelm a Spike Factor. I've never tried it before. Let's see. It's a lot of money invested. Oh, he's got a ninja! <laughs> All right. All right, we'll just go full... Uh, yeah, that didn't do nothing. Okay. Interesting. If I all-outed him with like $7,000 worth of camos, I might have been able to take him down. But knowing that he's got a ninja kind of changes things a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, so actually that's a fantastic idea. I've done this in previous games. When you're worried about uh, chunky ceramics... Just set him on set target, get a bottom path up here, and get him up to Buckshot. And when you get a Buckshot uh, Dartling Gun, you almost always want to go for a middle path combo. At least for now. Get a middle path combo. It's going to be really, really, really good against these juicy, juicy ceramics that can come out around 16. And he's also pretty good against Moab class balloons, too. So, this is not the best setup of all time, but it's definitely going to get me started in here. Now, what I want to do after this is i got to start thinking longer term. So there's one tower in particular that is by far, I think, the most godlike Moab pop and power in the game. Um, I think boomerangs are, are just a smidge under this. But as of right now, this tower might get a nerf fairly soon. So let's build one. Oh, he's going to rush me. Is he? He's boosting pinks. All right, we're going to build a super monkey. Let's just do it. Put him on strong here. Um, I don't know why he boosted that. We're going to go knockback. I'm going to go Ultra Vision. And we're just going to save up a little bit of money here. Because I, I do believe that my defense is probably good enough. I don't want to risk it, man. I don't want to risk it. I think the longer we play this game out, the better we are off. I have some really good towers. And he's got okay towers. Here we go. we got a bow coming out against us. He is going to send it out against us. Not a natural. We're going to go for a quick Dark... No, oh, I can't get the money yet. Dark Knight. And there we go. Those blues get popped. No problem. Delicious. Perfect Dark Knight play from us. Um. Alright, so I don't have that many good high-tier towers unlocked yet, guys. I do have a couple third-tier Dartling guns. I've got one third-tier Super Monkey. I've got all third-tier Boomerangs. But no fourth-tiers yet, which is kind of like the dangerous part of all this, guys. I really wish I had some more fourth-tiers. If I had more fourth-tiers, I'd feel really confident. But you just, you just don't know. So I'm full incoming at this point. I don't think this guy wants to rush me. I don't think he wants to take me down. So, let's keep on pumping. Now, one weird thing about Dartling Guns is you actually have to micro them. Um, there's two ways to use Dartling Guns in this game. You can either set the target, or you can put them on normal. If you put them on normal, whenever you click, he's going to start to move that door. Oh, here we go! He's going to rush me! All right! Let's see if the Plasma Blast uh, Super Monkey here is going to be enough. I like to believe it will be. Oh, let's put him on first here. Switch it. All right, so he's at least trying to do something to me. I feel pretty. I feel pretty confident. I think. Um. 
yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby. That's one of my first uses of this guy, and I'm very happy with him. He can pop them webs. I'm curious if he's going to try to rush me with his Oh My God or something like that. Honestly, I think I might do it against him. You know what? Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Let's do his Oh My God. I, I don't think he's going to be able to defend, and if, we, if he does defend, he's going to have to do a lot of weird stuff to defend. I don't think the Spike Factory is going to cut it. He's got to get some middle paths. Uh, and if he's got a fourth tier, that might actually manage something. All right, the uh, Middle Path Spike Factory these days has been unbelievable. The Carpet of Spikes and the Spike Factory uh, uh, Moab Storm, freaking ridiculous. Here we go. He's going to get a tactic here. He's going to use uh, Striker Jones to stall this Zone My God on top of the uh, tactic here. I don't think the Zone My God layer is going to be the problem. I don't think the BFB layer is going to be the problem. I think the balloons inside are going to be the problem. So let's see if those balloons inside cause any damage to this guy right here. BFBs. Uh, he's got to get some sort of Maelstrom, I think, to take these things down. Though tactic shooters are pretty powerful. Going through the Spike Factory. They're walking through, and he's going to boost. Got another texture in the backpack here. He's still struggling. Bloons in the very back of the map, but he does defend. Oh, baby. Good for him. That was a spicy play from both of us, but uh, I don't know. Camos will not work. He's got a ninja, guys. A ninja. Two ninjas. And he can build more. He's got money. We both got money. All right, so I'm going to go for another Dark Knight here with Laser Blast. i got to prepare for DDTs at this point. DDTs are going to come out around 26. Um, I could try for some sort of reinforce, oh my god, but I think it's honestly a waste down, uh, waste at this point. Uh, one advantage that we do have at this point is we got three uh, Bloom Boosts and three Monkey Boosts. So I'm going to save those up for some actual kill rushes here. I probably should have Bloom Boosted it with that, uh, oh my god, but, uh, but I didn't. You know, I didn't. I saw, I saw only a few Blooms sneaking through here. Looked like he had it covered. All right, round 25, guys. Let's get at least one more Super Monkey here uh, and hope that he does try to rush us with some DDTs but doesn't all out us. Like, a full set of, like, 10 DDTs, pretty struggleicious for us. But I think just a few probably can handle it. All right, I'm still sending out pink balloons here. I've got 4,000 income at this point. I'm planning on going a little higher. Oh, here we go. We got a... Oh, this is interesting. He's actually going to try to rush me with some BFBs here. I'm going to go for an additional Dartling Gun. <coughs> up to Hydra Rock Bots. We own that thing. Own it. Don't know what that was. No idea. I think he was trying to get me to use my boost before uh, uh, DDTs. Only thing I can assume. Getting ready to boost if I need to. Let's watch it. All right. We've got one DDT taken down. Yep, we're going to have to boost this. Let's go for another uh, Super Monkey here. And we do! We take him down, but we got to be careful. He could go for another set of DDTs against us, and I don't have my boost this time around. So if he does do it, it could be dangerous. But that was a lot of money invested and a lot of income invested in that rush right there. My boost is already almost back up here too, so he's got to do it like now if he wants to do another rush. And he's going to try to earn his income back. He's going pink rushes against us, guys. He's planning on going full on late game here. Oh, you're right. My face cam is in the way. Let's move it really quickly. Here we go. This is a perfect spot for this game. Dark Knight's doing work, baby. Doing work. All right, let's get one more of these Dark Knights. Uh, kind of in the middle here. Quick Dark Knight. We're going to go Laser Blast, Plasma Blast. And we're going to think about doing some rushes. Um, the Bad Balloon will 100% kill this guy. But we might not be able to defend the Bad Balloon. So it might be worth it. Let's just stop with our income for sure. We got 4,500. I don't think 5,000 is going to happen. Let's wait it out real quick. And... Uh, let's see what we want to do here, because I'm thinking like a reinforced Zone My God with some DDTs underneath it. I think the Zone My God will suck up all the Spike Factory balloons, and then the DDTs will just sneak through his defense. The question is, do we wait until bad balloons? Do we even try to rush with bad balloons? I don't think so. I think, you know what? Screw it. Right now, baby. We're going to set up the Zone My God around 29. We're going to set up the DDTs around 30. At least that's my plan. This is my new meta, man. I mean, it takes a long time to earn the, up the experience for stuff, so you really kind of have to play with the same stuff over and over again. So let's do a double dose here. Double dose of reinforce, oh my gods. Not impossible for him to defend. Not alone, at least. Then we want to send out reinforced DDTs on round 30, hopefully. That's what our plan is. Oh, here we go. He's going to counter me with his, oh my god. Non-reinforced. Kind of odd, but all right. All righty. 
Uh, all right, we're going DDTs, baby. Here's two sets of DDTs. Oh, crap. He defended those like a boss. Here's another set of DDTs. Oh, my God. You got to suck at these balloons, bro. Dude, my DDTs rushes are always too early. There we go. DDT sneaking through. And there it is. We take down game number one on a round 30 rush, baby. Now, this guy did absolutely fantastic for not being a VIP member and for having those towers. He did great. He seriously did great. Spike Factory was good. He even had fourth tier Spike Factories unlocked. Noticing with all of our experience here, we get uh, uh, almost 1,600 Super Monkey experience. Woo, that's nice. Just a little bit of boomerang, though. So as far as my monkeys are concerned at this point, let's look at it really quick. Let's look at it. So I've got boomerang here. Uh, the next one I want to get is I want to get this more glaives. So we're almost there. Need another couple thousand experience for that guy. Uh, I've been playing with dartling guns a lot. I do want to unlock the fourth and fifth tiers here. I'm pretty close to a rocket storm. It's 14k. I got 7k. And then for my super monkey, I just unlocked the dark knight. I've only played with him just a few games, I think. So I really have to kind of like focus on the awesomeness of the dark knight for now. But I do want to go for the robo monkey pretty soon. And then switch into a Dark Knight. I think I'm going to stay away from the Sun Avatar for now. For now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are there people really just placing a bunch of towers and then surrendering? That's so sad. That's so sad, guys. I hate the idea of that. I really do. Thank you again, Jack, and thank you, John. I don't call you John ever. You're John today. John Bond. All right, here we go. Let's do a quick... Uh... Yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave Wendy out here. I think I could go with almost any hero, though, realistically. I really do. Uh, I have not found a good... U I've played a couple of people with ice. I smoke them. I've never. I've not played a single game against the glue yet. Not. A oh, no, no, that's, 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 that's false. Played one game against glue. Every other tower I've seen at least sometimes. I barely ever see a wizard, and I don't think I've ever seen a druid in a game either. Which is kind of wild. Alrighty, so let's try... We did a Dartling Gun Strat last time. Let's do a Boomerang Start this time. It works a little better on this map. You can go for a quick 1-1 one, one Boomer. He's going to do a Hero Start. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, Hero Attack. Okay. So, uh, one thing I'm noticing is I've, I've gotten used to a lot of attack players over the years. Over the years that this game has felt like it's been out. Uh, and... <sighs> there's no true dedicated, like, for sure weakness to, uh, attack player. But you gotta watch them, because they usually over-greet. Okay, so right around, around 12 and 13, if they don't get their towers up in time, you can, you can get them. You can exploit it. But you just gotta watch them. You gotta watch them carefully. For me, though, I mean, my number one thing is I like to do it like this. I want to get some hero experience here, so I'm actually gonna be able to hero just a little early here on round two, hopefully. Boop! pop them down, even if it means we sacrifice a smidge of income. And there it is. We get level 3, uh, or level 2 Gwendolyn on round 3, which really gives us, th gives us that extra popping power we need. It doesn't seem like much, but slightly increased popping power per shot is a pretty slightly good amount in the early part of the game here. Otherwise, you get kind of screwed over by just too many group balloons with the boomerang here. And also, I should be sending out blues. Don't know why I'm not. So I will say that I think that uh, Taxiders are obviously really, really, really good right now. I think there's going to be a nerf incoming. So if you guys are planning on leveling up your Taxiders, just uh, win, 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 win right now. Later on in the future, probably going to get screwed over, man. So you got to gotta watch it. you got to be careful. Play with towers that are going to be good long term. And that's why I'm trying to go for these this, this trifecta right here. Right, I think best bad blue pop power in the game. Second best bad blue pop power in the game. And... Pretty good against just about every type of Moab class balloon in the game. But it's a little bit tougher of a start. Alright, the Boomer and the Dartling Gun are not exactly the best starting towers. The Super Monkey is most definitely not the best starter tower. So you really have to kind of work on keeping no lefts lost. And that's probably the trickiest part of this strategy. 
do you just sacrifice a life to kind of get yourself better off in the long term? Probably. Probably. You never know. There might be some sort of crazy glue gunner or ice tower meta that people will uh, figure out soon. But as of right now... Oh, really? Oh, really? You, uh, I don't think you guys can link me, but is it on, is it on Reddit? I'll read these out in the next game. For sure. Alright, so we're noticing something very odd here. This is probably the earliest fourth tier texture I think I've ever seen. That's pretty ridiculous. Alright, so this guy's gonna rush me. This is one of those rushes that can take down a boomer, sadly. Sometimes. Luckily, Gwendolyn heats it up at the perfect time. Cleans up them yellows. Noise! Noise! Now, one of the biggest weaknesses to this strategy is the fact that I don't have good cam detection. I actually have to rely on my dartling gun for full cam detection on round 12. And the only dartling gun that's got full cable detection is actually Hydra Rocket Pods. Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm still going greens right now. We're going to switch into reds. Uh, it's pretty efficient for income, and it'll allow me to save up my crap. So we're going to go for the uh, dartling gun, Red Valkyon. And the reason why we're doing it down here is because this is the best place to fight against the grain. I almost always like to fight against the grain with my towers. Can you imagine the X here? Go one, two, three, and they're going to be coming down this little spot right here. So realistically, that's what we want to do. We want to focus on how do we get the most pop power down this nice, delicious straight line. Now, when we look at this guy's defense, he's got cam protection. He's got group pop power. There's nothing to kill him. There's nothing to kill him with. Purples will cause some problems for us. Probably won't kill us. Uh, and camo purples on the next round would kill us if we didn't get the hydro rocket pods here. So let's play this safely. Want him to rush me, by the way. Rush me, baby. Rush me. Do it. Do it. You know you want to. All out me, man. Send out some purples, bro. All right, we'll just go. We'll go for a little bit of yellow action for a little while. And I want to keep up. Oh, here we go. He is going to rush me. We got Hydra Rocket Pods. I should be good. <laughs> Bait out them rushes, guys. You know how it is. You love to be a good baiter. Some people like to be a fisherman, and you know what? One of the hardest parts about being a fisherman is actually baiting up your um, fishing rod. So that's why they sometimes even have tournaments to see who the master baiter actually is. And today, very clearly, I am the master baiter. I just made him suck on my hydro rocket pods. All right. So we're going full out yellows and pinks right now. Just whatever increases our crap. Uh, I, I'm actually not unstoppable right now, though. That's the kind of sad part. I like to think that I'm unstoppable, but I'm really not. Uh, I can't I can't be overwhelmed, 100%. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult on this map because I got so much room to kind of work with, but it can still happen. Uh, we're going to go for a, uh, a kind of odd dartling gun here. I'm going to put him right here, and we're going to put him on lock in place. We're going to set him in place right over here, and we're going to go for a bottom path. Just go boop, boop, boop. Hydra rocket buckshot. Hydra buckshot. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So if we look at his defense, is there any options to rush this guy? Honestly, straight up, just no. I can't do anything. Uh, he's got full cam protection. He's got full group popping power. I uh, cannot rush him. I could try a Moeb, but honestly, the, with the attack zone, it's just attack shooter's not worth it. I always mistake the fourth tier for attack zone. It's not. Overdrive. Just got to get used to it. A full-out camel rush would probably be the most dangerous thing for us. If he wanted to. He probably could take us out with a full out camera rush, but he'd have to go all in and he'd have to do like a really solid rush. Yeah, I mean, there's certain towers with, with like such a, a huge amount of OPness that it's it's honestly, they'll just smack you around. They will. They'll just smack you left and right, man. It's 
It's hard to take that when they're they're like that. Man, it just makes you want to give up. Just lie there and take the surrender, you know? Okay, so I am going to try a BFB against this guy. At the very least, I think we'll cause some problems. Probably won't kill him. And then I'm going to go for a Super Monkey defense on my side. We're going to put it right about here. We got to micro a little bit. Actually, a little bit, a little bit afraid of this. A little bit afraid of this. A little bit afraid. Oh, baby. That was a little tough. One single Moab almost killed us. So that goes to show you that this defense is a little weak right around this point of the game. So let's switch that up. Let's get the Ultra Vision for camera detection. We're going to go for this bottom. Oh, here we go. He is able to defend. Okay. Kind of suspected that. Kind of suspected. So the question is, do we go for his Oh, my God, rush? Oh, here we go. He is going to rush me. Azoma reinforced! Oh my god, we might lose. We might lose this game, folks. This is going to be a tough thing to defend. Good rush from him. Alright, it's not over yet. It's not here yet. I'm actually purposely not going to buy the plasma yet. I'm going to wait for it to come around here. Uh, I'm going to go for one more super monkey, and I'm going to try to get a second Hydra Pods up for balloons. Got a good income, but that's a fantastic rush. I want it to go all the way around before I pop it, basically. It's just kind of where I'm at right now. Here's my second Hydra Rocket Pods. We'll get the uh, Laser Shock on this one. And then I got to get uh, two Dark Knight Plasmas up. This this is going to be tough. I honestly don't know if I can defend this. All right, let's get the Captain Plasmas first. Well, well played rush, dude. Well played rush. All right, there's my Dark Knight Ultra Vision. Save up as much money as I can. He's got a bunch of ceramics coming out. Let's deal with the ceramics first. There we go. We got... Uh, oh, oh, he's not Dark Knight yet. I'm at least giving myself some time to work with this. And that's... Oh, my God's going to pop any second now. All right, we're about to get our second Dark Knight. That's going to change things in our favor quite a bit, but still not a game changer. All right, one random balloon here, and we're going to have to boost this. All right, let's boost it, boys. Let's boost it. With the boost. With the boost. We do defend. Reinforce, oh my god, is done up, baby. Woo! That was a spicy one right there. But that was perfectly played from us. We specifically did not pop it until it went all the way around, and that gave us more time to build up some money to get our defense all set up and ready to go. Beautiful. All right, so this guy does not really have a good DDT popping power tower yet, so let's just go for one DDT and see what he does. He's got an elk, so he's probably going to defend it. He boosts, and with the boost, he does defend. Okay, good for him. We're going to go for some more eco on our side, and I'm going to get a little bit more defense up, because honestly, those DDTs are still painful. Okay, this is where it gets kind of dangerous, because now you're thinking, basically, late game. All right, you're thinking, oh my god, territory. Bad territory. Reinforced territory. Reinforced DDT territory. Oh boy, it can get difficult real freaking fast, guys. Now, the one weird thing is, I don't know if he's got any, um... Uh, any fifth-year towers. Like, I don't know if he has a tax zone or something. I'm gonna guess no. But maybe he does. I have the tax zone unlocked. So we're going to stop with our income a little bit early. I'm definitely going to do a one single bad balloon rush. But I'm probably going to go for a bunch of reinforced DDTs underneath that. I'm going to hope that my DDT pop power is just going to be better than his. And we can hopefully just kind of survive it out. Alright. Survive it out. Even if he rushes us with a bad, we're probably not going to pop the bad. But the DDTs will be impossible to pull. I have two boosts left. I got a balloon boost. I haven't used any balloon boost yet. I really should use the balloon boost more often. That's one of my biggest weaknesses in this game. Is uh, I can use the balloon boost, but I'm like, oh, it's not going through. We don't need to use it. You know, like, just use it just to cause problems. No matter what. Why well, have three at the end? So I don't like microing the buckshot and two other towers at the same time. So I like to put my buckshot just kind of sort of sitting down here. Realistically, oh, this guy's garbage. We don't even want him anymore. He's worthless. 
He's worthless. Instead, we got this guy flowing for us, and uh, my question is, do I have to go in for another Dark Knight? First of all, gotta go bad. Alright, just a single bad. Regular old bad. He's probably gonna bad me too. But now it's gonna come down to the secondary rushes. Oh, there it is. A reinforced bad. That's actually kind of a good thing. I can't pop that crap. I most definitely can't pop that crap. So, um, I'm gonna go for some reinforced DDTs underneath us. Reinforced. DDTs. We're gonna wait just a quick second in here. He just boosted, so we're gonna wait for the boost to wear off. And then we're gonna get some DDTs up in here, and we're gonna bloom boost him. Those DDTs hopefully should go through his defense right there. And there they are, folks. DDTs just smoke right through him. And we bloom boosted, too. <laughs> yes. Super monkeys for the win. No lives lost. Okay, first blood, though. Yeah, that's one weakness to this strategy is uh, that is tough to keep the first uh, first blood. You know, it's tough. All right, we're trying to work our way up into the Moab pit, though. Let's see if we can do it. Also, I am going to... I I have my uh, new webcam. I just have not set it up yet because I'm terrible at life. All right. Um, we're going to stick with Wendy. You know what? Screw it. Let's go open. Here we go. We've just got the magic monkeys flow. Let's do it. Super monkey, boom, boom, and dartling gun. Mm, let's tornado her. Yeah. Yeah, suck my tornadoes. And uh, we're ready to go. Let's do it. I have not tried doing any fortified stripping or anything like that. Open's going to be really good for our super monkeys today. So I'm going to try to focus on using him very well. But I, I think that might mean that I have to do a higher level boomerang to start this game off, which could be a little funky. So let's do a... Uh, uh, probably some sort of 3-0 boomerang to start. Uh, I don't know if Oban's going to be strong enough to kind of like keep me in the game against the group balloons. But we can always give it a shot and just sacrifice first blood. If we want to. If we're feeling it. You guys feeling it today? Let's do it. Screw it, brah. Oh no. My income. Alright, so we're noticing a Buccaneer play from this guy. That usually leads me to believe that late game we're going to have an advantage. Um, we've got late game towers right now, and most games have been going late game these days. So usually when you want to focus on winning games, you win on just surviving and then out defending your opponent. Uh, the game will not always be like this, but at this point in the game, Moab's BFPs and Zombie Gods are pretty weak. So it's going to be difficult to actually kill people with those rushes. Not impossible, but difficult. All right, so we're going to full on go blues here. We'll try the Oban play. We'll try it out. I don't know if Oban can reach those balloons. It looks like he can reach them, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. Dude, it'd be really freaking cool if you're here when you place them down. Oh, we can't reach them! Come on. Oh, yeah, this is probably bad. This is probably really bad. I think we're going to lose some lives here. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to force it anyways, man. I got nothing to lose. What I got to lose here, folks? Lives. Games. Everything. Subscribers. <laughs> There's too many things to lose. Alright, you guys like me in the middle here? Is this like, is this good? Just to kind of chill right in the middle. Alright, so anyways, we're gonna put this guy strong now. Uh, he's usually best against the strongest types of balloons because he does damage with his attacks. So you're going to notice, if you like look at a uh, green balloon, it's going to pop it down to a red. And as he gets stronger, he's going to get more more and more powered up so he can do it even better. So, again, boomerang. Sort of sad here. We can barely, barely, barely pop these group balloons here. So we're going to go full out greens for a little while. I saved a little bit a little bit of money. I'm planning on doing a yellow rush against this guy because I honestly believe that he's going to probably over-eco and not be able to get enough Buccaneer action up to actually do anything. He might try to get a third tier Boomerang, and that's probably the wrong play. Oh! I meant, I thought this was round 7 already. It's not. It's not, guys. Um. Okay, get ready for that rush. Very similar 
gameplay from both of us. Different different towers finally. I like I like seeing different towers. It's always a good sign. And here we go. Full out yellows. Let's see if we can cause any problems here. I'm just gonna brambles early. So we'll start building them back up a little bit. Here we go. Are the yellows causing any problems? Indeed they are. We're gonna balloon boost them. I was just telling you guys, I need to use balloon boost more. And here we go. We get some boost out. Are we gonna get that first blood? Give me that first juicy blood. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah. First blood. Nice. It's good to see. Good to see, guys. I love it. Round round eight income is maxing out right now, though. Oh, boys. We're getting it out. We're at 900 plus hit over here. I don't want to overgreed. A thousand's a nice number to have, though, man. Really, really is. We're still sending out yellows pretty much nonstop here. It's kind of ridiculous how high we can get our income if we're able to full send. And we're going to stop. All right. 1,000 income. Now we get our, def get our defense all set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out this obstacle because it's just hit the freaking way. I'm going to go for uh, a dartling gun right about yonder. And we're going to get up to a middle path here. So now at the very least, I have camera detection. So if, like, he sends out a small camera rush with Oban's uh, uh, vines here awesome. and everything, we'll probably survive. But it'll be a little bit tricky. Uh, weird thing is I gotta get rid of this rock here soon as well, but I've gotta get my Hydro Rocket Pods. 5250, man. We're not gonna even have it for round 11 here. This is a big purple rush territory. He's not all out of me. He's going for a defense, so we're gonna be a little greedy here. Get a little more income. Just send out reds and blues for a little bit. We're gonna hope for a rush. You know, we want this guy to rush us. He's wasting money if he decides to rush us. And there it is. But he doesn't send enough to actually cause any problems. That was a good play from him. You know what I mean? That was a good play. So, let's lock this out. Clear that crap out of the way. Get over. Get to work here, Engineer. And he's gonna rush me with some zebras. That will do nothing to us. Hydro Rocket Pods is good these days, folks. And let's start switching into a bunch of yellows and pinks. As far as rushing this guy goes, he does not have that much camera detection. He's got a decent amount, but honestly... A big chunk of camel rainbows might be exactly what we need to kill him with. So let's wait just a quick second here and go for a big, uh, a medium-sized camel rainbow rush. All right, medium-sized camel rainbows. Let's see what he can do against it. He's got one buccaneer here. How did he kill... Oh, snap, guys. He hid that from me. Well played. Well played. I didn't see the sub. I didn't see it. I see the greenness now. All I saw was Buccaneer, though. He hid it from me, guys. Big wasted rush from us. Worthless. Worthless. But it does make me realize he's got a crazy late game weakness, so we're not going to overgreed too much. All I want to do is I want to make sure that I kind of keep me... Uh, Probably up into the 2,000 uh, eco range. Get like a decent super monkey defense up for around 18 and 20. And then we'll prepare for uh, uh, kind of just out defending him as usual. I mean, Buccaneer sub, decent towers, don't get me wrong. But I think that we can do a good job defending. Better job defending them. Oh, here we go. We got a big rush coming out. We are going to boost this. Use Open's ability. Oh, that's freaking huge, dude. That's freaking huge. Freaking huge. Well played. Hydro Rocket Pods is not unstoppable. I greeted. I greeted. Remember I was just talking about I don't need to greed? And I greeted. I greeted. Full out ceramic rush. GG. GG, bro. GG. Well played. Got me, baited me out with that uh, camel rush, and then he uh, beat me with the ceramics. Oh, I wanted to go for a Super Monkey next, but it was the wrong play. I should have gone for another low-level Dartling gun like I did before. Oh, 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 I'm in a game. I'm in a game. So, let's read out some uh, donations really quickly. Raptor, how's it going? Thank you so much. It's Laws, thank you so much as again as well, man. We have the same exact map. Is this the same guy? He might be. And thank you, Shubapon. Thank you so much, guys. I can't stop a game, so we'll do the patch notes in a little bit. Supposedly the game is not uh, updated yet, but they are going to update it. And they've already given the patch notes for the update, which is pretty sweet. All right, same exact guy. Let's not screw this up this time. We're going to go with the exact same strategy, except better. Let's see what happens. 
you never know. All right, so he's doing a non-Quincy start this time. Maybe he switched up his strategy. He doesn't want us to know all of his weaknesses or all of his strengths. All right, faster ranks coming up soon. All right, for some reason, sent out green balloons. I don't know if they're going to do anything, but I just want to, like, give them a quick test here. And it looks like... Because nobody ever sends them against me as a boomer player. So we're just going to switch into reds. It just makes sense. All right, switch into full. Oh, open! Oh, we didn't get him in time! Oh! Brutal. Brutal. That's rough. I really wanted it, too. I wanted the levels, man. I wanted the levels. And usually, like, here's the thing. Late Break is better. Let's be honest. It's just better. So I can decide if I want to do some sort of dartling gun play. Uh, I think I gotta go boom boom. I've gotta. I gotta go 3-0 boomer to start. Switch to hydro rock pods. And... Uh, I think I'm going to get a little bit of extra defense out of my Hydro Pods. Like, I, I think I'm going to have to get some sort of bottom path Dartling Gun, or I could switch to a Laser Cannon as well. I've not tested out the Laser Cannon one bit. I wonder if it's better. The one problem, though, with the Hydro Rocket Pods, is, or the Laser Cannon, I mean, is it doesn't have camo or lead popping power. So, uh, automatically. It does not have camo automatically. You have to get middle path with it, which is fine. Uh, and then it doesn't have lead popping power either, which is really goofy. You know, like it gives you frozen popping power, but not lead popping power. Maybe it would be a little too overpowered if it was. Not really sure. But, it is what it is. Alright, we're going to throw down our, our thorns here. It's not bad to throw down thorns, because the ability comes back pretty quickly compared to Gwendolyn's um, Molotov cocktail and all that. All right, round six here. We're going to get ready for a round seven. Now, as far as boomerangs are concerned, personally, I like the 3-2-0, mostly because I think it's harder to start off with a bottom path boomerang. Getting red hot rings to start you off is difficult, but if you could get just straight up, just afford it right from the get-go, bottom path, top path combo, you're probably better off. Probably, depending on the situation. All right, so we're going to force him to use his cocktail here, and they're probably going to go for a blue boosted yellow rush after that. If he can't defend. But he's got a Buccaneer. He's doing a good job. Overwhelm is a little on the slow side. He's overwhelming me already. Oh, boy. All right, here's a second set of thorns. And the thorns are doing a good job. All right. All righty, then. So, again, I have to greet at least a smidge. A thousand was what I got last time. I think we can make it happen this time again. So let's go for it. Buccaneer, Boomer, Gwendy play. I wonder if he's got the sub. Gotta pay attention this time. Hide the sub behind the Buccaneer play. Alright, we're almost at 1k. Let's start building our crap. Uh-oh. going on out of sync no dude did they give me the de the 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 thing again it's giving us money oh wait 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 the round happened are we still in this Uh-oh, DC bug. Yeah, I've heard about it. I keep getting kicked out of my games. Oh, there it is. And it's going to give you the freaking loss, too. It gives you the loss. That's the worst part about all this. I think it gives both people the loss. There it is. Connection error. Screw you. Screw you. <sighs> there it is. We get defeated again for no reason. 
So you guys, if you guys don't know, uh, this is a common thing in battles right now. Uh, I'd say one out of every like three to, three to five games, you get a DC uh, uh, issue going on, which just completely disconnects you from the game. And I believe it gives both players a loss. You can't get a DC win from it, which is kind of wild. So, yeah, I believe both people take the loss. My lo my win loss ratio has gone from being great to being quite awful. Uh, probably like fifty fifty or something like that. Yeah, I mean we're a little better than that, but it's pretty bad. All right, first things first. We could unlock this chest and pretty close to this chest. But before we get there, Max, baby. First, love the new look. Oh, thank you. I don't love the new look. I cut myself up real bad today. Or yesterday. Um, it was pretty rough. How do you feel about the new update? I think the uh, new added XP is a big win, especially for the VIPs. Yeah, so... Guys... The game got updated, and it's okay, but it's still not as good as it should be, in my opinion. I think there's some major issues. Alright, so I'm on the battles to, um... I'm on the battles to subreddit right now, and what we wanted to look at really quickly... Uh... Here, I don't know if I could do this. Hmm. Eh, maybe I can. Alright, that's as good as it's going to get. We're going to look at the patch notes really, really quickly. Um, For the new update that will be coming out hopefully fairly soon. XP changes. We've further increased the overall tower XP earned from games to help ease the grind for unlocks. All right. So they're monitoring the feedback, obviously, and uh, they've noticed that there obviously are some complaints. So let's fix that crap. First of all, Heli, getting way freaking cheaper. Makes sense. It sucked. Glue Gutter, getting way better. Fantastic. Tax Shooter. I don't know what that means. Oh, excuse me. Top Path is more expensive, and Maelstrom price increased. That's the only thing happening to the tax shooter. Suck my balls, Ninja Kiwi. Dartling Gun. Pierce increased. That actually will help me make the Dartling Gun a real thing in the game. Laser Shock cheaper. Okay. Boomerang. Third tier cheaper. Oh, third tier more expensive. Are you kidding me? Third tier more expensive? Make tax even better? Oh my god. Trash nerf. Trash nerf. Trash. Trash. Most of this is trash. They need to make bigger changes. and They need to make them fast. Sub. Lower pierce. All right. Good. Pierce, lower, lower. Okay, good, good, good. Dart. I mean, all, all right. I mean, we're lowering the price on this guy, lowering the price on that guy. Ninja, lower price, lower price, lower, 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 lower. Everything's lower on the ninja. Druids. Lightning. Cheaper. Cool down lower. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. Blue rounds. Round 24, the first group change. Pinks times 40 over 15 seconds. Pinks times 10 over 3 seconds. Okay. And bloom changes. All right, here we go. Here we go. Blue blue groups now cost 24. Green spaced cost 14 less. Green group deco 1.4. Yellow spaced cost 20. This is so hard to say. This is just like complicated as crap. White spaced, black spaced, rainbow group. We'll have to see it in the game and see how it works. Regrow balloon timer reduced. Yay! Fortified modifier now unlocks on round 18. Was 19. Should be 14. Fortified ceramics. 20 to 30. Great. That's good. Moab cost. 1,200 to 1,000. Okay. Now you can actually rush with some Moabs. BFB costs less. Oh my god. Costs way less. And the speed is increased. Ooh. Bad health. A little bit lower. Okay. So they're, they're at least changing those. They're okay. The general idea here is... Just increasing XP is not the optimal solution. I agree. This, this is... The experience system is just bad, but I don't know how they're gonna fix that. I don't. I don't think there is. They just went in too hard with that system that it's gonna be impossible to like fix it. Um. Yeah, I, this is what I, this is my big thing. 
Maelstrom's getting nerfed, but not everything else. Chicka Chicka, what? Chicka Chicka, what? What's going on? Yeah, now everybody's smurfing. It's ridiculous. It's freaking ridiculous. Smurfing, smurfing, smurfing. Yeah, I can assume that. I can see it. Smurfing sucks. All right, guys. That's what we're at. Let's open up this great chest. Let's hope we get a, an experience multiplier out of this puppy. Let's see if we get it. Let's see if we get it. Oh, we got a top comment. Oh, oh. I can't put it back up here, but... But... Uh... But what I can do is I can go back on there. Hold on, give me one second. I want to read it. I want to read it. Oh! Bottom path attack is giving an extra pierce when it shouldn't. Which in turn makes that upgrade path a lot stronger than it should be. This extra pierce is only meant to apply to the zero to the three two attack shooter, not the entire tower. So removing that extra pierce on the upgrade and making sure it only applies to three two. Oh my god. Yes! 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 That's what up to oh crap, what happened? My chest just disappeared. I'm gonna cry. My chest. Guys. Where it was here and then it was gone. <laughs> I guess we'll unlock this crappy chest. Get some crap. Crap experience. No multipliers. Yeah, I don't think I got anything for it. It's not here. That's so sad. I'm on the battle screen. Nothing happened. All right. All right. So, okay. Max. Max. That's a great... That's a good idea. Here is the major issue. Okay. The major, major issue. Ninja Kiwi. Probably day freaking like one. Like freaking four years ago when they're like oh yeah pizza six is coming out all right sweet let's talk about battles too bro and their idea was okay we've got to monetize this game how do we monetize it it's like the first idea you come up with you design a game and you monetize it what do you need to keep hidden so people have to pay money to make it be a game that makes money okay and here is the major issue they decided we're gonna make these monkeys earn experience ridiculously slow to force people into going to the shop and spending money on this stuff right here. And we're not going to monetize anything else. And that is a major stupid idea. I'm sorry. Whoever the executive was that said, yes, this is the way we want to make money off this game. I think you did it fr wrong, man. Yes, you might make more money off of it, but it's going to make people hate you. Okay? Ninja Kiwi, you're like the number one cool guy gaming creator for everything you've always been cool and this is just sucktastic and i get the hate i get it i understand it so there are ways to monetize a game without forcing people to basically buy the vip pass if you want to play okay in this game the monkey should not have been behind the paywall if you were gonna make something like a, a little bit tough give everybody third tiers or at least fourth tier or at least Honestly, fourth tiers would be great, and you have to unlock the fifth tiers by earning a bunch of experience. Still make people grind for it, but at least you can, like, have a bunch of different strategies. Okay. So, that's fine. Or at least give us third tiers. So we can at least have a lot of really different strategies, really different combinations, really different cool things, and actually play the game pretty effectively. They said no. Uh, I, believe it or not, when the game was in... Um, uh, before I hop into one last game, not last game, but one more game. Um, before, uh, when Ninja Kiwi gave us everything for free, they told us we get uh, second tier towers. And I was under the assumption that when they said that, they meant two, two, two towers. I even preemptively made a video about two, two, two towers. 
And then I was like, oh my god, it's 2-0-0. Ninja Kiwi, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why would you do that? It's bad. It's bad. And here's the thing. I think a lot of these types of games, they're really, they can be super duper successful uh, with just cosmetic items. You start off the free game, and you make people buy skins and crap. If I had a crazy awesome Oban skin, uh, you know, if like almost all the stuff in this section right here was like paid, people give you crap tons of money for this crap, man. Different animations, different emotes. You can make it really hard to earn too if you want to. Like, like you can still earn them, but it takes you 50 hours of gameplay to earn an Oban skin. Cool. People play freaking 50 hours of your game, but some people they just want it right freaking now, man. They're gonna just give you three bucks for it. Get monetized that way. But the way that it's designed, and again, it had to be designed in the early frickin' phase of the game. The way that it's designed is wrong. Wrong. And don't get me wrong. Now, the problem is, is you can't just fix it, because it was designed wrong. It was designed wrong in the first place. So you can't just magically fix it. You can't just give people more experience, shovel experience in their face, and say, Oh, well, we're making it better. We didn't need it to be better. You needed to design it better in the first place. And that's why I think a lot of people are angry. Okay, I think that's fair, right? I, am I wrong? I don't know. I don't know. And what they did was they made that the skins for the balloons and the decals for the balloons, they made that the stuff that you pay the in-game currency with. What? What? Alright guys, we're going with the same strategy. Let's see, can we pull off anything different or weird here? Can we, like, get rid of the boomer for something different? Let's try the druid strap, bro. I've tried this before. It's terrible. But uh, we're going to try it again. I'm going to try a lightning play right from the get-go. I've never done it before. Feel nature's wrath. And I... Uh... Did you keep it kind of reached out? And they asked... Uh, they specifically said they did not think the game was pay to win. And in a year, maybe. Right now at launch, you got to be lying to yourself. There's there's no way. All right, we're going to try to force a Heart of the Thunder here. I'm going to send out just blue balloons for a little bit. I don't know if this is the right play. I think this is probably the wrong play, but we're going to try it out anyways. All right, so we're definitely going to lose the first life. Or are we? Or are we? Alright, let's see how this Heart of the Thunder does, man. Why did he just stop attacking there for a second? It's like lightning, 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 break. Why did he stop? All right, so we're going to notice, guys, very clearly, there is a very usual play coming out here. We got another Gwen Tack player. Uh, and that's fine. You know, it is what it is. It's the way you got to play the game sometimes. We're going to pop that our open because we want to get the we want to get that Druid um, Thorn Swarm to happen pretty quickly. So we're going to buy that Swarm. Uh, I'm actually really happy that they're making the Heart of the Thunder more powerful in the next update. That makes me want to update uh, Druids a little bit, you know? Upgrade them all. All right, surprisingly, Heart of the Thunder still rocking blue balloons. That's, like, better than the boomerang. And they just made the boomerang more expensive. Chicka chicka, woo! It's kind of weird. All uh, right, full greens. Um, I think we're finally going to start to get overwhelmed here. Let's do another druid. I'm going to go for another thunder. Mm, I'm spending all my money, though. Alright, we already lost the first life, so it really doesn't matter if we keep no lives lost. Let's at least throw down this. Clean up some of these blues. Hmm. Yeah, I think the yellow blues are going to be really rough for us.
One thing I will mention is that if every season Ninja Kiwi made you uh, start off with zero experience and every time I would quit this game. I'd quit. I'd never play this game again. I would hate Ninja Kiwi. Especially for not telling us up front. Oh, it's how we doing. Um, so now we got a totem here that keeps the balloons all on the screen right next to us here. Really good for explosions and all that. But not that great against pretty much anything we're dealing with right now. But I will say, double thunder play. Not too shabby, folks. Not too shabby. Alright, so right now what I'm doing is I'm kind of saving up money by sending out just lower tier balloons for my income. Uh, he's setting out the same thing against me, just blue balloons. He's probably preparing for an overdrive nuclear sub combo, or just an overdrive, honestly, with just one bottom tier sub, or top tier sub. He can defend all camos, and this guy can defend all balloons. So, let's get our dart league gun flowing, because that's going to be my camo detection. I gotta put it down here. I still like this spot right here, though. This is my, like, go-to spot for this guy. And I'm gonna continue to slowly send out the blues. You can tell I still need a decent amount of money here, folks. I have promised myself that I will only be streaming until 7.30 today at max. So that's in 1 hour and 14, 16 minutes from right now. I might end sooner than that, but that's my goal. Alright, I'm just going to buy it. I'm not going to greed too hard. I'm just going to go for this puppy. It's my full cam detection. Sometimes you could bait things out, but I'm just going to play it safe today. And we're going to switch straight into maxing out the income. So we went for the nuclear reactor rather than the... Overdrive tax shooter. Which is fine. Alright, so I've been greeting a lot lately. Let's ungreetify this just a little bit. I'm gonna be better against these ceramics with this this uh lightning army, but I think I'm better off. Do I have no I don't have the four tiers online? I think I'm better off going for at least one of these bottom path, bottom tier guys. I'm just gonna put them on set target for now. See if that's gonna be good enough. I want the buckshot, baby, for these green balloons. There it is. Buckshot! So, he's got an interesting strategy. He's got Tack, he's got Boomer, he's got Sub. If he's got higher tiers than that, he really can go late game. But his biggest weakness is for sure still, again, DDTs, guys. So, at this point in the game, our main goal is not to necessarily kill him on round 18 or 20, but to get ready for the DDT rush. Sometimes you can cause problems by rushing people and all that good stuff, but... Um... Uh... I'll probably play it a little bit more uh, safe this time around. I want this win. I do. I want this win. I want the Druid experience for the win. That's my goal. Uh, and I think what I want to do is, even though it's kind of weird, I might go for like kind of like a Druid army kind of situation. You know? The later on in the game you go, and the more money you spend on these towers, the more experience you're going to get. So I'm going to try for just a couple more of these guys, even though I don't think that they're necessarily the best option for me. All right. just want to spend some money on them. And all I want to do is I want to get about 2k ish income. Uh, I can defend DDTs, I believe, if I get a couple super monkeys up. All I need to get is a couple of these uh, bottom path super monkeys. They've been boss for DDTs. Uh, but right now you can tell the reason why super monkeys are boss late game is because I can't even build a super monkey on Route 18 without thinking, oh crap, this is a terrible idea. Alright, so who's going full out whites against me? fine, I suppose. Again, I think I'm just going to stop at, like, 2k income. I don't think I want to go too crazy. Moab, worthless. BFB. Maybe. If he turbocharges through that crap, we're done. You know? Turbocharge, freaking beastly these days. Another sub coming out. Ooh, look at that. He's got a middle path. Ooh, does he have first strikes? Now, that's a different question. Hardcore sub players could have first strikes at this point, but first strikes aren't 
automatically winning against chunks of DDTs. All right, so here we go. There's the first Moab. We can deal, we can deal, though not exactly easily. And then we're going to build at least one Super Monkey. So we're going to say, hey, don't rush me, bro. I don't want you to rush me. I don't want you to. You can. You are allowed. But just don't do it. Be a gentleman. And we're actually going to hold off on income. Again, I don't think this game is going to go any more uh, beyond round 26. I believe we could take him down. Is that a first strike? I can't tell. I haven't seen it before. Or I haven't been trying to pay attention to see if he's got it. It looks like a first strike to me. I wonder. All right, again, we're just chilling. 2230. It's a kind of low amount of income, to be honest. Um, I'm going to go for one more Super Monkey. I want him to... Realistically, I want him to rush me right now. I think it'd be uh, just a waste of money for him. And we're going to prepare. We're going to start saving up our money. We're going to go for uh, probably two sets of DDTs. I'm probably going to go for like one set to force out the battle energy and then a second set to actually kill him. Oh, but he does have a first strike here, so we have to send at least two of them. All right. I think it's going to be tough for him to get more than one first strike, though. Uh, but with... I've not seen the bottom path turbocharges against a DDT. Maybe they can take him down. I don't know. This will be interesting. And one interesting thing about this game is that I haven't seen a lot of different towers actually trying to defend against stuff. So, it'll be interesting, guys. So you can tell, oh my god, yeah. We just gotta uh, set up the DDTs in the right order. He's trying to go for more first strikes to scare me. I don't think he can afford all that. There we go. One DDT. Let's see what he does. Two DDTs. Let's see what he does. He's got attack zone. Hey, he is able to defend. I need a little more income now, because this game is gonna go longer than uh, 26, boys. It's going longer. It's going beefier. We're gonna get one more Dark Knight. I'm gonna send a full pink balloon action, and we're gonna go for another dark, delicious. Delirious, destructive night. Let's go on around 30, boys. Go on around 30. He was able to... Yeah, he baited me, man. He baited me. He wanted me to all-out DDTs. And that's not a bad idea. I mean, hey. He did. He baited good. I wouldn't call him a master or anything like that, you know. More of a novice. Not maybe experienced. But uh, that did hurt my income about... About five, what, 600? 600, oh crap, that's a lot. That's too much. You know what's kind of weird about this game? Is that I could... Let's see. I'm firing my laser! Oh, he stopped sending. Why? No! 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 Ninja Kiwi! Ninja Kiwi! Ninja Kiwi. I hate you, Ninja Kiwi. How do you get both of us defeats? At least, if I got half wins and half losses, I'd be cool. It's not my internet, bro. It's the game. It's happening to everybody. And I wanted to win this game because I wanted my Druid experience. Ninja Kiwi, you owe me like, you know like 3,000 experience right now. You owe it to me. You owe it to me. 
I deserve that. Everybody deserves gifts from Ninja Kiwi. As far as, far as I understand, this is not people doing it. This is the servers doing something wrong. Uh, it just started today for some... Do I get a loss for that? All right, all right. Realtek audio drivers. Are you serious? Are you just messing with me? I mean, that's like how my audio works, dude. I can't do that. Let's restart the game. Maybe that'll like reset something. I'm really hoping that the update that comes out, uh, hopefully tomorrow, fixes all of this. They said very soon. I mean, that's usually like day of. The DC glitch. The all-encompassing terrible DC glitch, dude. I didn't have any issues with it until today. I, I was playing quite a bit yesterday, but I didn't play last night. So here's the weird part, man. I, I everything um in this game only started happening today. So like, why would it start happening today but not be in existence for the past like week? Uh, we're gonna try this druid strat again. Druid Omi. We're gonna go thorn swarm. I'm just gonna go blues for a little bit because it's just the way it is. We're gonna go hard thorns with this puppy. I have heard of that weird thing that every once in a while, if you just post your social security number in chat, that uh, DigiKiwi will give you, you know, billions of experience for free. All right, look at this. This is going terrible. It's going terrible. Why would I ever not go taxier on this map at this point in the game? Come on, Lightning. Reach through the reach through the other side. Get him! Get him! Kill them all! Get some more. Oh, the lightning, bro. Bounce better. Bounce better. Bounce to the other side. All right, we lost like 50 lives. It's okay. It's okay. Still working it out. We play in the danger zone, my friends. I also heard that if you put your password in chat, um, specifically your password for your bank account in the chat, uh, that if you look out your window, you'll see a golden bird in the distance. It's kind of a weird thing. Just kind of heard things like that. So, I mean, you guys can try it out. But it has to be a real password, otherwise you won't see a real golden bird, you know? So. All right, here we go. We got one of these puppies. We got another one of these druid foes. Folks, and we got one of these guys, and we're good to go. We're going to go for another Heart of the Thunder. Full green balloons, man. Oh, boy. Oban's not even level 3. He's level 2, though! That should give you this extra pierce, man. All right, looks like we got to go for another Druid. Put this guy on last this time. Check this out. Check this out. Put him on last. Get him in the heart Thorn Swarm. We're going to go Hard Thorns, too. Uh, hard Thorns seems to be an important part of the Druid here. It's round five, and I'm not even sending out greens. This is awful. Why would I ever do a druid start, start man? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, once they update the game, they did say that lightning's going to be cheaper by about $150. That'll help out quite a bit. $1,000 out of $850, you know? Um, 
I really feel like I might actually be able to pull off a crazy druid strategy like that. You know, you gotta have enough early game starter towers in this game. Alright, we gotta go for another thunder. And oh my god, my income is garbage, dude. What is going on? Just check it in. I'm making sure that the uh, new Paragon is not out yet, guys. I'm pretty confident that the new Paragon is just uh, a theory at this point. Well, not a theory. Like, Ninja Kiwi said it's coming. That's about all we got. I've seen the picture. At this point... I don't even freaking care if we lose. I I believe that we are going to easily, easily, easily lose this stupid game. All right. Let's switch to reds for a little bit. I might have to sell one of these druids to get my uh, maybe even two druids. Thirteen forty-seven. Triple lightnings. Eh, not bad. This guy's got a, an amazing income, though. It's got to be freaking over a thousand. Easily. Awesome. All right. Can we rush this guy? You know what? Let's try something out. Let's go zebras. Oh, he's got tags on. <laughs> I mean, I can, I can pull up tags on, dude. All right, let's see. Come on, rush me, bro. Rush me. Rush me. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. Just do that little bit of rush, rush. He's going full yellows against me already. We can barely defend him. Let's go full picks against this guy. Heck yeah, full picks. Or blacks, I guess. Yeah, full blacks, man. Now let's go whites. Whites are a little bit quicker. Alright, so we easily, easily defending over there. Uh, I don't know if there's anything that I could pull off magically against this guy. Hmm. My camp. Oh, here we go. Made him waste a little bit of money there. That's the good news. That's a pretty hefty rush right there. I mean, that's probably pretty close to three to four thousand dollars worth of camos, right? Those camo yellows. The good news is, is that TAC is officially being nerfed. So everybody who's been going full TACs all day, uh, uh, they're not going to be screwed, but like their tower's not going to be that good. So we should be focusing on other towers besides the TAC shooter, guys. Um, they will be nerfed. They, it is coming. TAC shooter strategy will be over before the end of the week. That's well, already the end of the week. I guess. I guess we have to wait and see. I'm going to guess it's coming out tomorrow. They've been updating pretty quickly. Whites are more efficient. Look at this. 2.5, 65, 3, and 80. Do the math, bro. Do the math. Always go whites. Always whites. Full whites. Full whitage. Though you could go pinks. Pinks are up here, too. Or yellows. Or pinks. Spend all the money. All right, so believe it or not, we we're actually able to catch up pretty decently. Uh, it's almost uh, 2k income here by round 17. Not bad, not bad. But this is ceramic territory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for one dartling gun right here. We're going to put him on lock in place, set and target. And we're going to get the uh, bottom path over here, the uh, buckshot. For a little while ago, yellow balloons will be saving up for the buckshot. I just don't like dealing with ceramics, man. I feel like they're they're dangerous for a hydro rocket player. Look at that. One red balloon almost snuck through right there. Ooh. Why are picks so dangerous? We got the powerful darts on this guy, too. I feel like they shouldn't be sneaking through like that. Alright, full picks again. And we will do the, the quickity twick uh, cheat at the moment to allow us to send out full pinks nonstop. And to do that, I wait until round 17. I wait until pinks are going to be. or 18. Because then usually. or is it 19? Whenever the game changes, so pinks will never change the uh, hotkey anymore. So I don't want to send out the wrong things. Here we go. Route 18. I can send out full pinks nonstop now by doing this strategy. I just click off the game. 
No hands. Look, Pa. No hands. Now, the cool thing about this is you can actually go for other, um... Uh, other things without messing it up. So I can build my super monkey here for my Boa Pop and Power. And get him all set up over here. And you're gonna notice my biggest weakness right now still... Camera detection, bro. Camera detection. I don't have it yet. So we're gonna get that up. We're gonna go knock back Ultra Vision. Alright, at the very least, I feel like I have something going. Fully auto picks. Hmm. I'm gonna guess this guy's got tax on, and I'm gonna guess that our rushes cannot do anything to him. Uh, he is going full pinks against me, so we might be able to surprise him with some sort of rush. But I just don't know for sure. Oh, crap. Alright. There we go. We get the plasma up. And we are able to defend. But at what cost? At what cost, my friends? Uh, we're going to wait for his oh my god. I, I didn't want to send his oh my god. And we'll get this guy up to a dark knight here in just a second. Uh, you could tell super monkeys, even against just a single mob here, really not bad. You know, pretty good against ceramic layer. Decent against balloons. Really, he's meant for those, uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, it's not ready for some god territory yet. Okay. So, I'm gonna guess he's got attack zone. Alright, that's my guess. So, we'll try this. Oh my god. He's got, like, everything set up over here. I think he's planning for the DDTs already. So, we might be able to, like, pull something wicked off where we can just, like, magically kill this guy. But I severely doubt it. Usually, Zoma Gods are just too strong here. So, we'll send out one low tier Oh my god. Send out some balloons underneath. Um, Leds really aren't going to do anything. Ceramics really aren't going to do anything. Rainbows probably aren't going to do anything. So we're just going to keep on going pinks. Full income. He's incoming through the defense. So he feels very confident. He is a confident player. Oh yeah, he's very confident for a reason. He, bo he boosts it. Alright, I mean, we made him ways to boost. I guess that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. Let's get another super monkey. Another dark knight over here. Uh, this guy looks like he's got the middle path village too, so ZDTs are not going to be a problem. This game is going to round 30, I think. I think. So we're going to max out our income here nonstop. And we're going to continue to build things where we have extra money. I'm going to go for mostly super monkeys for now. Uh, sadly, that means my druids will not have that much experience at the end of the game. Oh, I do have to of the jungles unlocked. So camo purples seem to be a problem for me. If you like full out, full out camo purple rush me, dude, this could actually be a bit of a problem. Could be. Wait, are laser cannons, can laser cannons pop purples? Oh, I don't even have it. <laughs> I don't even have it, guys. All right, that's all right. We're going to go for a combo play. Aim them that way. Full pinkage. And I'm actually just going to... I'm going to lock these guys in place for now. Set target. Set target. Just let them go. So, one cool thing about Obin is that Obin's trees can actually suck up DDTs, believe it or not. Uh, also, I believe that Obin's trees also give you additional money. So, if you're able to get the Obin's, Obin uh, trees to suck up balloons, man... Make some delicious extra cash over here. I'm not worried about the purples, guys. I really am not. I think that they're going to be fine. I got a Hydro Rocket Pods. If he did decide to all out me, I'm hoping that I could just magically defend them somehow. Alright, so we're going to spam in some Super Monkeys here. You know, let's get him afraid. He's spamming tax. 26! All right, I'm not even gonna rush him. And there it is. There's my super monkey army. <laughs> rush me, I dare you, good sir. I dare thee. So you're gonna notice he's got an actual pretty sexy defense. That's pretty sexy. Not gonna lie, dude. If we crash, if if the game kicks us out of this game. I think I'm going to have to end the stream for now and wait for them to fix it. Uh, but for now, wow, he's got a lot of crap over there. 
he's full spending. And one thing about full spenders that's interesting is that he's not going to have as much money uh, to, to rush us with. And honestly, at this point, I'm going to stop with my income at 6k. And I'm going to start saving up my money. And I hope that I'm going to be able to get some sort of reinforced BFB or BFB uh, uh, combo play against this guy. And still get enough defense to defend the DDTs on my side. Bads. Bads, boys. I think a bad can sneak through this crap. Powerful. It's powerful. All right, right, 6k plus. Let's stop sending out pinks. Save up our monies. This is going to be the game of the year, folks. The game of the year. He's still going income against me, though. Round 30 is coming up on the next next round here. All right, we're going to go for at least one more of these guys. A reinforced bad is going to cost us $30,000. $30,000. That is crazy. So we're going to do a combo. We're going to do one reinforced, one regular. Rest of the money, and we're going to use to defend. And I think two of those bads will take this guy down. I believe it. Now, I don't see a tax zone yet, which is kind of interesting. It makes me believe that he does not have a tax zone, and he thinks that these taxers might be enough to defend. Um, yeah. That's what I'm guessing. Let's go. Here's one bad. Here's another bad. Let's see if we can take it down. Bad coming out for us. We're going to do something a little weird here. He's going for the defend. Is he going to be able to defend here, folks? He's got another boost! Oh, snap Oli. He just GG'd me. He just GG'd me, boys! Come on, little boosty balloons. Come on, little boosty balloons. I need you. I need you to sneak through right now. Come on, little balloons. Go through. Go through somehow magically. Oh, no. And there it is, guys. GG. Holy snap, Oli. Tax should have broken. Tax should have broken. Wow. All right. Well, at least we got some experience. 219 drill experience, though. That's pretty bad. Uh, I used the second tier tower to start. Um, well, just so you guys know, uh, let's let's talk real quick, real quick before I get in here. First of all, Tacky is actually broken, officially. Like they, it's doing something that they didn't want it to do. It's getting the pierce from the blade shooter, so they are going to fix the tack in the next update, and the update is coming very soon. So that's the good news. Uh, I think tack will be hopefully fixed very very quickly. Uh, hopefully it'll be a more fair tower in the game. But as of right now, it is officially broken. And that's why that guy's able to do that. You have elk combo village super elk buffs. It just gets kind of crazy. So at this point, it, I don't think I could have defended that bad. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, I didn't have the right towers. I only had low tier boomers and supers. If I had high tier boomers, 
High tier Dotling guns as supers, I wouldn't be able to do it. Only seconds and third tiers? It's rough, man. Uh, beyond that, yes, just so you guys know, any donations that are coming in, I read after the games. Please don't be upset. Um. Oh, I guess I can't read them after the thing, because my thing got broken. So maybe I can't. Maybe I missed some donations. And if so, I'm sorry about that. All right. I am sorry. I cannot read all of them. Um, I will give you a double shout out, though, during the game if you do redonate. Uh, again, my man. But Piker said, hey, it's been some time. I basically beat. Hey, there you go, dude. You beat it. Beat it down, baby. Nice. Love to hear it. You'll be popping into more streams. That's fantastic. Uh, Battles 2 is a mixed bag for me. Uh, the Steam reviews are basically exactly how I feel. It's up, it's down, it's left, it's right. It's all over the place, you know? Seth, baby, you just won with the strategy. Thank you, but you're on mobile and you're having trouble ecoing with it and microwing. I do not have any tips for you, dude. It is going to be difficult on mobile. Um, you don't have to keep tapping. You can hold down the balloon send. So if you're ready, you can just hold down reds, hold down blues, hold down greens. So you won't be doing that much. Uh, yeah, so sadly, I, when I was doing the Reddit crap, somehow my live stream crap got messed up, and I can't go back and look at them. And then when I go and look at them on here, I don't know if they're recent enough that I can go back and see them. Yeah. Sampling Raider, there he is. I can read it. I cannot read your last super chat, uh, but I am going to read this one. I'm so sorry, dude. Thank you so much, though, Sampling Raider. If you got got to see something right now, I will be paying attention for the next, like, minute or so. So get going with it. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, let's play another game. Let's do it without the Druid this time. Let's switch back to the Boomer. Are we close to a fourth here yet? Eh, we're close. I think I want to get the more Glaives. I think that'll be the game changer for us. 3200 bucks. Eh, seems a little wild, but it is what it is. Or, um... Honestly, this is, this is one of my strategies that I kind of want to show you guys really quickly. This is going to be a top tier. Top tier strategy. You sent two. Yes, I know you sent two. I can only read the one. The other one is is gone. But I'm about to pop into a Gabe, dude. All right, I got Oban. Let's do Gwendolyn. All right, this is going to be a solid strat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to win this one hardcore. I really am. Doesn't mean I'm going to win, but I'm going to try. I'm going to go taxi run this map. I think it's the best start. I'm going to do Super Monkey. I'm still going to go Dartling Gun. Um, that means my camera detection is going to have to be Dartling Gun, which is kind of weird. But I'm going to try to get it to work for us. All right. Never miss. Uh, yeah, tax zone is freaking ridiculous right now, man. It is freaking ridiculous. You do not need anything to defend besides just getting a tax zone and just letting it happen. So we're going to do a tax start. Uh, I've gotten pretty good with this strategy, admittedly. I, I want to do different types of strategies, too. And at the very least, right now, because it's so broken, like, if you want to win games... You saw what happened last game. With fourth tier textures, he defended like six bats and like 10 DDTs. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, we're going to go for a pretty quick hero here on round two, hopefully. Believe it or not, I already got like 80 hours in this game. Maybe not all active, but it, it's it's a lot. It's a lot, guys. I've been playing. Oh, a farm player! Here we go. Now, on this map in particular, I think farms are probably the first time where I think that this might actually work for a lot of players. No joke. This is probably the best level 4 farms because it's the fastest because you pop all of the natural balloons as soon as they come out and that makes the other rounds go quicker. So blue income is going to be a lot, lot lower. That also means he might try to all out me here. I think a lot of farm players are trying to all out around 10, 11, and 12. So we're going to have to kind of watch out for that. One good thing about somebody going farms against you is that you don't need to focus too much on getting your defense up. You can just focus on full out income unless they do a good mix of send outs. They actually send some stuff out against you every once in a while.
Alrighty, switching into greens right away, folks. Round five. This is the way to do it. We get first blood token. Boys! I will give some cred where cred is due. And right now, he deserves some cred for uh, doing a banana farm strategy. Maybe he's trying to level him up. Maybe they're going to get a buff sometime. But um, right now, I don't I don't really like them. You know, I think they're really hard to use is the main thing. Not necessarily that they're bad. They're hard to use. No banana farmers is the number one thing. Uh, and a slightly, I don't want to call it bad, but like hard to use is the main thing. Hard to use and get enough of them to make them make sense. Watch me get smoked by them, though. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna switch into something weird. We're gonna do a straight up dartling gun already. All right. Now, normally this is not the case, but at this point of the game, I'm a little afraid. So I'm gonna go for this quick yellow rush here. Round eight could be bad. I think round eight is purple balloons already. All right, we do some damage, and there we go. We get the third tier boomer up. All right, but again, losing some lives in the process. All right, just sending a full of greens here. I think I gotta stop pretty soon though. It's not gonna work. All right, let's try the purple combo rush. Let's do uh, uh, let's do a quick purple yellow combo. So purple yellow combo. I don't want to all out it, but I am gonna balloon boost it. He's gonna boost it though. All right, fair enough. Everybody go for our hydro rock poles. All right, we gotta save us some money though. I don't have it yet. I'm not even close to it yet. Uh, looks like we gotta get this guy instead. All right, pretty beefy rush. Just a regen rush. Oh, I don't have a dragon pod, buddy. Good rush, good rush, dude. Yeah. So, um, you can tell I over greeted again. I was just talking about whether or not farms are good, and I think that is the round, that is the map that you need to use farms. Because, uh, clearly, my defense was bad. I probably, oh, man, I feel like garbage. I feel like garbage for losing that. I do. Uh, I'm not used to playing against farm players yet, and you're just not expecting them to have that much money left over and ready to go around 11. You know, you're just used to, like, a small rush, but nothing that big. That surprised me. Dartling guns are tough, though. They really, you have to use them like super duper, super, super special. And without them, up to Hydro Rocket Pods, it's tough. If I was going to go for an even better strategy, right now, Mortar is not too bad for mid game. But long term, if I had a fourth tier sub, I'd be even better off. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Switch it to a village. You know, then we're switching into attack village super monkey strategy, which is probably top tier right now. Because I can get I can get attack zone for late game, still get my super monkeys up. I could probably defend bad balloons with a strat. You know what? Let's go for it, guys. Peach Panda. Let's see if we can defend bad balloons. I'm not going to rush this guy at all. All right, I'm not going to go for the win. We shall see if my strategy can defend. I am curious. First time on a rush, if he survives until round like 35, I'll rush. But I severely doubt that. That would be my highest round yet. Alright, so early Gwendy is always good with the tax for combo. Uh, the greatest part about it is that you get uh, heated up a little bit faster, and the heated up not only uh, uh, does damage to the blues, but also like really, 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 really makes your tower stronger. You know? That's super awesome. Right, let's get ready for them blues. So we're noticing no hero out from this guy yet. He just went straight for the uh, Tacuter. He might be trying to unlock Tac Zone, believe it or not. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that hero experience does kind of take away from your other towers if you're trying to just earn it. So some people like to specifically not build their hero just to get more experience. It's a riskier thing. It'll make you do worse, but it'll be better in the long run. And he goes for the open play. Alrighty. 
If this game does go late game, though, I want to throw this out really quick. I, uh, this will probably be my last game, guys. Uh, so the point of the game right now is to max out our income, get a quick overdrive for round 12, and then switch into a village kind of right after that. Uh, this is seriously by far the best strategy in the game right now. By far. Uh, the question is, what other tower do you want? I'd say most players go Elk, but there are other options out there. We're going to try for the Super Monkey. We're going to go for late game towers. All right. So we'll build one more low tier attack here for now. All you got to do is just throw like a low, a low buddy down. Get away more tax, and then I think you can defend even up to yellows most of the time. Or at least the amount of yellows that most people can send out against you. Let's get ready for that yellow. Oh, Elks! There it is! Elk tech, man! It's the thing. It's the thing. Everybody does it. Here we go, full yellows. I think 1k income's possible. We'll see if we can make it happen. We actually are causing some problems. Let's boost it. Let's see if we can get a life lost. Um, No. It looks like he is going to be able to defend there. Good for him. He's going to rush me. Reverse. Look at that reverse right there. Uno reverse card, baby. So what I'm going to do is for round 10 here, I'm going to sell uh, this guy for an overdrive. So let's slow down on our income. I thought I was going to get 1k. Looks like 1k is not going to happen. So we'll slow down just a little bit. We'll continuously send out red balloons instead. We'll just say, screw you. We don't need you. And yes, you. We do want you. Yo! Awesome. Tis easy to greed, though. You got to be careful, folks. So let's get our village right about yonder. You know what? Let's put it... Yeah, we'll put it right here. We'll put it right here. I'm cool with this. And the question is, do we need to get a radar scanner? He's going uh, sub instead of village, which is fine. It's a strategy. It can work. It's actually not bad against DDTs either. Decamelizing. This guy alchemizes your tax shooters to allow it to pop DDTs. So, it is possible to pop TTs with that strat. Uh, we're going to switch into full income strat right now. Let's just go full yellows, I think. We don't even have... We've just over 1,000. But right now, I feel pretty confident in my ability to defend most things. Maybe not everything. Most things. He's going for a rush. Overdrive defends for the win, baby! But no, I don't have a boost. Uh, he could sell everything for a secondary rush. That's why we're going to go for a secondary, second overdrive. So, a little bit over defensive, but I feel very, very safe right now. I don't remember if I have top path village. Let's check it out. I do. I have primary training, boys. All right, let's do this. So if you guys are curious about uh, which blooms to send out against your opponent to get a high income, I've seen this question a lot. I made an eco guide on YouTube just yesterday. Um, it didn't get that many views, but I do a great job explaining how income works in this game using charts and everything and in real life gameplay. Highly recommend it to you guys. It will help you out a lot. So check it out after the stream for sure.
Hmm. So, let's do this. Let's get the primary training. That'll keep us going for right now. Uh, I'm going to have to get a second village, though, with... Uh, well, I guess I don't need to. If I, I, I've been told the tack zone can pop lead balloons as well. So, you don't even need to get this up. It's kind of an interesting spread. Oh, here we go. All right, we'll boost this. We should be able to boost right through it, I think. Fortified ceramics. No problemo, boys. No problemo. But we are at a slight disadvantage if he goes for a secondary one of those. So let's get at least something up here. Let's go for a knockback first. Put him on strong. And we're going to get a laser laser blast up. That was a pretty beefy rush, though. That was several thousand dollars. Probably close to 5k worth of ceramics. And you can tell I was greeting a bit. Admittedly. He should know how strong these guys are, man. He's got them on his team. They're powerful. <laughs> you know what? It's honestly, it's okay to hate VIP players. Ooh, here we go, boys. Here we go. Here we go. We got a Dark Knight. We got a play. This guy's a rush-tastic mofo, man. He wants to take me down. He wants to kill me. Why would you be so rude, Peach Panda? Maybe he wants to force me to have no battle energy. But I'm going to keep it, man. I'm keeping it. All right, so we go for a super monkey up to an up crap. Honestly, even if he sends out his, oh my god, I'll be, t I'll be fine now. Uh, I cannot rush this guy very much, though. I think he knows that he's weak against DDTs. Or bads. But like I said, I don't want to kill this guy. I'm going to play it out. I'm just going late game. I'm only going late game. I'm not going to rush this guy. I just want to see if I can survive. I'm curious. Alright, we're going to go for a... Eh, we don't even really need it. Let's just chill. Yeah, so his sub's gonna pop these purples. I was first I was like, oh my god, purples! He can't pop them! Yeah, he, he can. <laughs> he can't. Pretty easily, actually. Hey guys, please don't spam. I know that you guys want some sort of Buck Paragon attention, but seriously, it's not even out yet. Alright, I've seen the picture. That's all we got. Don't spam. I will start to uh, time you guys out. I'm sorry. I know you guys are excited. I, I, I'm excited about Battles 2 right now. I'm, I just don't want to talk about it, alright? Alrighty, so we're actually just about ready to go here. We can go for attack zone right now. Um, for 26 here. He might rush me with DDTs. Alright, so it's true. You do not need a MIB. You don't need a MIB for the attack zone. I actually accidentally used my boost, by the way. I didn't mean to do that. Now I don't have any boost left, so that was one thing he did do good. He rushed me enough where my boosts are gone. All right, so we can continuously um, kind of just spam Dark Knights at this point. Tax Zone will pop literally everything, except for a bad balloon. So now we have to figure out how do we pop a bad balloon. So again, this is one of those weird situations where I don't know. Honestly, don't know if we could pop the bad. I think I could probably kill this guy with a bad, no problem. But I'm not going to rush him. I'm going to go full defense here, folks. Full defense. Knockback tech so That's what we're going for. Uh, I don't have my fourth tier village. I have seen people defend with a fourth tier village. Uh, a little better off than just what I got. 
Uh, I don't think I need a, a, a mib. I don't think I need a, a third ta tier middle path village. So we'll just chill with what we got. Mib, you guys call it mib or MIB? Honestly, I could go either way. I think MIB makes more sense, but I've heard somebody say mib before, and I was just like, all right, I guess we're going mib now. Mib it up. Plus, we want to put him inside of the range of this guy, so uh, we can get this going. M I B. All right, it's currently round 30. We will stop sending out picks. And let's see if he's going to rush me. And if we can defend. Dude, he's not rushing me. Are you serious? This is the first guy I've ever... I've not, I've not seen... Use bats. First blood? I saw 65 ceramics go through! These ceramics are beefy, boys. They are beef-tastic. Alright, I stopped with my income at this point. Round 30, that's when you gotta stop. It's round 31 already. Don't forget, every single one of these bad blue, every single round, these bads are gonna... It's gonna kick us out. It's gonna kick us out. There's almost no way it doesn't kick us out. Unless the ceramic just kills him right here. Oh, One of them leaked through. Oh, there they go! <laughs> he has no income. He just waited to die. I am I feel a little bad. I, I like, should have tried to kill him. That made me feel kind of a little bit worse. He did go for those DDTs. We get everything off of this guy. We get literally everything. All right. Yeah, I should have ended him. I feel a little bad. I felt like I just toyed with him too long. You know? Alright, guys. Sadly, I have stuff to do today. So, uh, that's where we're going to have to end the stream right now, folks. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow to stream some more for you guys. So, um, get ready for that. I'll be streaming right around the same time. I'm thinking about 4 o'clock or so. Uh, which is three hours earlier than right now. So pay attention. Be ready for it. We'll have some fun. I actually hate not having a beard. I'm going to get a haircut pretty soon. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Probably Monday, though. Probably Monday. Thank you guys for coming. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Good night, everybody. Good night.